In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Subtitle Edit. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because there are people who always ask me, how do I download and install it? Is it available for Mac? ATC. Now, number one, Subtitle Edit is available for Windows and Linux. And I believe for Linux is the portable version that's available. So sorry, Mac guys, you're not catered for in this, uh, but I hope someday uh, they'll actually make it available on Mac. Uh, but the latest version of Subtitle Edit is Subtitle Edit 3.6.5. And to get to this page, you go to nikse.dk -E and all links will be in the description below. Now, what's confusing is this is the official website for Subtitle Edit, but the files are not hosted on this particular website. They are hosted on GitHub. So this is the latest version of Subtitle Edit. And if you hover over this SE 3.6.5, to your bottom left, you'll see github.com and then uh, the subtitle edit release. You can also hover over the download option here and you'll see the same option down there. So if you click on that, what happens is that it takes you to the GitHub repository where subtitle edit is, shows you it's the latest, you can always uh, see the changelog, and then the files are available here. So if you look, there are different files. There's this file, subtitle edit 3.6.5, setup.zip, and this is the Windows installer. And you can read and see what's available there. Then we have this uh, version, which is the portable version. And this version is for Linux users as well. Uh, so if you do not want to install, you can use the portable version. And then there's the portable version with Finnish dictionaries. And then we have the portable version with Polish dictionaries. And if you scroll down, you'll see the same options here, but you'll also see uh, subtitle edit, uh, the beta version, and I believe this is the portable version, and then this is uh, the installation, and then the source code and all that. So these are all the files, but the file that we want, especially if you're on Windows, is this file so that we can download it and install. Small file, about 9 MB, so I'll click on it. And there we go. It starts automatically downloading and within no time it's almost done and once it's done we are going to open up the zip file because it's a zip file so I'll just click on I'll just click on the file and it's going to open up with the zip uh, installer for me here uh, and this is WinRAR but you can use 7-zip uh, WinZip ATC to open up zip files and I'll just double click on this installation file Subtitle edit 3.6.5 setup.txe. Just double click on it. And once I click on it, I'll get the user control and whatnot. Just say yes. And then you'll need to set up uh, the language that you want the interface to be in, but you can always change that later. I'll select English and click OK. I'll accept. Next. And then you can add translations and whatnot. Shows you the required space pretty small application. Click on next and then click on next. Uh, you can create shortcuts, but I don't want, I also I want, don't want to associate common subtitle files with this. I'll just install. So there we go. It's almost done. It's optimizing performance. Let's just give it a couple of seconds. So it's done and what you get uh, is uh, you see uh, the changelog uh, for the update of 19th March 2022, what's new, uh, speech to text that is automatic transcription uh, and a couple of other things in here and we can just click on next and then we can just check the box to launch subtitle edit so that we uh, uh, do some uh, basics uh, that you might need to do. So click on finish and subtitle edit is going to launch. So. Uh, this is the interface of subtitle edit once you download, install it, and launch it for the first time. Uh, there are a couple of options that I always say you do. Uh, uh, the first one is click on options, click on settings, and then go to the video player, I believe, yes, and then download MPVlib because the player at the moment uh, does not support uh, showcasing uh, the subtitles in the video. But when you download MPVlib, you'll be able to see the subtitles in the video. So I'll just click on this and it's going to download. Uh, I believe it's a small uh, application, not that big. 
but uh, that is uh, step number one that you might need to do uh, so that uh, you can actually uh, see the subtitles the way you'd like to see them inside your video to see the changes especially when you're working with uh, positioning of the subtitles in uh, where you want them to be in the video when you want them to be burned into the video you need to see how they look like so that you don't obscure uh, things like lower that graphics text etc so this was in downloaded and installed click ok so this is what it looks like you can change the subtitle preview font to whatever you want etc it all depends on you uh, I believe something else we can do uh, right here is you can add some uh, what is it called the toolbar appearance uh, you can make uh, this recently in uh, added burning functionality to be visible so that you can uh, you can just click on that so here we go click OK and um, then let's see let's see if uh, our video play is selected yes it's selected that's okay and then we can just try out a new video and our icon has been added here just click on video open video file and then we just uh, bring in one video file here and then we can just click to add the waveform it's going to be generated there we have it uh, and since i already have subtitles for this i can just click on file open keep video and then just select one click open and then we can just see so yeah, with the MPV lib uh, player, you'll see the subtitles inside here. Those are the players that are available. You see are the subtitles below the video. So that is how you can download and install subtitle edit from the main website through to GitHub and all the different versions that you can download and install. So if you're wondering how you can download it, it's pretty simple. And I hope this step-by-step -step tutorial has been of value to you. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.